let's talk about successive ionization energies. What are successive ionization energies? It refers to removing electrons from the same atom. And as we remove an electron, we would name this ionization energy second, third, fourth, fifth, etc. We can write these successive ionization energies as equations which help us to show which electron is being removed. So for example, in second ionization energy, the equation shows us an electron being removed from an ion with a single positive charge to form an ion with a double positive charge. With third ionization energy, we see an electron being removed from an ion with a two plus charge to form an ion with a three plus charge. This data, which is derived, called these successive ionization energies, we can examine this data. Let's say it's for an unknown element. We can hence use this data to help us deduce which group the element is in. Right, to deduce the group the element is in, we do so by determining the number of electrons in the valence shell. Right, so successive ionization energies tells us the group the element is in. These successive ionization energies can also be used where we say that we know that these energies increase as outer electrons are removed, right? meaning that as we keep removing electrons, it's going to get higher and higher, or it takes more energy. But a big jump should occur when an electron is removed from a new inner orbital or in this case it could be a new inner electron shell where of course that new inner electron shell is closer to the nucleus so successive ionization energies can also tell us the number of electron shells in an atom So once again, to summarize, successive ionization energies, the data provided by or the data given can tell us the group the element belongs to by letting us know the number of electrons in the outer shell. It can also tell us the number of electron shells we can find in that element.